make it is if you stand with me. The only way all of us are going to do that is to understand that. And there's going to be times that I'm going to need somebody alongside of me. As strong as I might look like standing up here in the pulpit, all big talker, I'm weak just like anybody else. And I need some teamwork. We're all made that way. So we do it because I'm going to need it. Because it helps me. Just a couple days ago, they passed a, a little clip on TV. It's just, just an amazing thing that went on. The PTA at the Sandy Hook Elementary School District, you know, from Connecticut, decided it would be good before the kids came back to the school to have some little snowflakes just to hang around the building. They would just kind of make them feel a little pumped up and special, encourage them. So they put out a note that said they'd like to have some people make some homemade snowflakes. The guy said after day one, he knew he had a problem. Huge box showed up. Day two, several huge boxes showed up. Day three, truckloads were showing up. He said, we have, and they were telling this after the fact. He said, we have warehouses that have boxes and cases full. Tractors and trailers are pulling up by the truckloads. They don't know what to do with all of that. And they have all kinds of just makeshift homemade from little kids that have sat down in schools and said, we're going to help those little kids get along. And they made their own little personal colored snowflakes. And they set them off in boxes. And teachers got them together. There were churches. They said that, oh, by now, over 50 countries in the world are participating in sending snowflakes to that school up there for what they went through. Do you know what that does for them? Can you imagine if we did that as a church? The avalanche of snowflakes that comes into the life of an individual. That they're covered up to the chin and say, okay, I feel good. I'm going to get back or I'm going to do or I'm going to make it. Or if it's a case that I'm dying, I'm not dying alone. I've got something to hold on to. That's what we're about as a church. Two are better than one. Think about it. If you're doing some great visiting, keep it up. Come up here and check a car out, though, so we'll know that you're making that visit because somebody else can do it differently. Get involved in one way or another. And make us strong as a church. Now, as we close the lesson, I just ask you if you've got a need this morning. Your life isn't right. We certainly want to help you. If you've never been baptized into Christ, we can get that right. So you can become a Christian. If you just need prayers in the church, you've got understanding people here that care. And there's no haughty people that say, oh, we got it together. We'll just kneel down the right way. No, it's more like we know what it's like. We're alongside you. You need some prayers, we're here to help. We've been there. We struggle. We know. Right down the front of the space. Ready for hearts if they're open. To be helped. If you need help, come on this stand.